Welcome back to the channel. So, this right here is my, uh, well, I want to call it an ion reactor, but it's not exactly an ion reactor. To call this an ion reactor is a blaring statement towards an ion, a real ion reactor. But essentially it is kind of doing the same basic principle. What it's doing is it's taking gas, stripping the free ions off of it, and then technically, you probably could still use the gas, at least from uh, experiments I did earlier, you still could use the gas after I took the the uh, free uh, ions off of it. So basically what this is, is uh, this is a positive connection, this is your negative connection, um, creating hydrogen gas inside of here, and then instead of storing the gas in another jar somewhere else and uh, or another storage uh, container somewhere else what I'm doing is I'm keeping it all in one unit and uh, that's kind of what the interesting thing has been about this whole hydrogen fuel ionization electricity from hydrogen has been quite strange because uh, just like um, I almost want to say they're entangled uh, the uh, atoms are entangled, but in a strange kind of way. Um, it's very reminiscent of a uh, a buildable capacitor or debuildable capacitor. Basically, the capacitor that you can fill it with. You make a capacitor out of a uh, a jar, and then you fill it with water. You charge the capacitor. You take it apart. Touch all, everything. Nothing has a charge. Put, and then it and it's perfectly fine doesn't discharge or anything put it back together and then um, and then it works just fine it's very unusual because once you separate the gases it they lose power you once you separate the water from the gases from the electrodes they all lose power um, to me that kind of sounds like entanglement in some ways or that maybe it's just the uh, the ions like to go back to the same electrodes or something like that so anyway, with this little device, I've been experimenting around with it, and the only reason that's clear is just so that I can see what's going on here. Right now, that's uh, oxygen and hydrogen gas inside of there, and like every HHO generator, there's uh, some extra stuff in there, and uh, also, too, through experimentation, I've uh, found that uh, different gases, different electrolytes make different kinds of, uh, make different uh, ions, and that's not necessarily a good thing. Uh, some of the ions you don't want, some of the ions you do want. Uh, so if I go ahead and I watch the meter here, as I'm playing around with it at different angles, the volt, the uh, the current changes, which I find very strange. Like, all right, so like I'm gonna flip it upside down. That's facing the other direction. Drops down to there. Also, too. Um, so basically, it's just unusual things are going on uh, promising reactions but unusual I'm kinda of thinking that this is gonna end up being some sort of a you charge it with your solar panel you put this on the shelf go ahead take this put this on your shelf and you come back to it later on so basically to start with experimenting with hydrogen actually I started with uh, just making hydrogen with a chemical reaction it wasn't working as well uh, so I start, made a simple HHO generator Positive, negative. This is actually aluminum inside of there. I actually get really good reactions out of the aluminum. Uh, I'll be changing this to an aluminum type reaction. Um, hold on a second. So I sketched this up real quick. This is what I wanted to grab real quick. Uh, just basically to show you what's going on inside of uh, that uh, battery reactor, whatever you want to call it. Uh, it's got activated carbon, copper pipe, uh, nylon washer, steel washer, and it doesn't seem to be working that fantastic. It works well for what I want it to do, however, I think I can do more. Uh, this is a uh, another type of uh, reactor, ionization, stripper, whatever you want to call it. Uh, basically what it does, it ports the uh, hydrogen through it in an uh, integrated pattern like this one goes down, that one goes over, that goes up, 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 all the way around, up and down, through and there, and then eventually it starts pushing some, uh, if you plug up one end, it'll start pushing it through the sides, and this is just graphite, which is, graphite's pure carbon, 
and it worked really it worked better as the um it worked best out of the uh trials that uh separated the gas from the liquid but all in all this is kind of where it is right now um i'll be trying some new stuff and uh seeing where it goes i'll keep everybody in the loop uh this guy right here this is what makes me think that there's some something really good that can be used use out of here um basically when you charge this up uh and you come back to it uh it gives you over an amp of power so anyway remember to like comment subscribe and uh there's be a link in the description to my new uh facebook like page i put uh results to experiments in between uh videos there so it's something cool to check out something to like just shows up on your uh, facebook's feed now you can stay in the loop all right so thank you and uh thanks for watching